Yo, 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 it's your boy, Raz Kid, and man, do we have a video today. All right, I'm gonna try my hardest to explain this and try to get this done with you guys. Uh, it's gonna be a big learning curve for me, but hey, we're gonna get it set it off from a distance, all right? Aliens, you already know what it is. This video is about having six terabytes on the OneDrive. So this, this is just one account having six terabytes. And I'm gonna show you how. So, uh, first things first, uh, we're gonna zoom in here and we're gonna go to my drive. So I already have two drives here, okay? I have drive one and drive two. As you can see, one has 362 gigs and the other has 78 gigs. This total account right here probably has 700 something gigs. Um, so I think it logically it's over a terabyte. But either way, so as you can see, it's shared here, right? So this drive one and this drive two is shared and probably not by the end of this video, but I should have about five drives, okay? Each drive containing one terabyte, meaning the main account that you have already has that terabyte. So that's six terabytes. So you have one and then you have the other five Then you have uh two terabytes three terabytes four terabytes five terabytes six terabytes hopefully that logic makes sense <laughs> but uh all right so i'm gonna show you how to do it so as you can see drive one is shared with uh one of the other accounts that i have here so it's the owner so basically what i did was i created an email and i created a fake account whatever or just a normal email remember this is training purposes only uh i created an email you know uh just create another one i put a, a drive just a folder from that uh from that actual account there and then i dragged it and i shared it over to my main account um so i'm gonna share all five drives to my main account here um so i'm gonna show you how this works um so let's see what we can do here so all right i'm black people are just man blowing me up all right so first and foremost aliens you are going to need um the office 365 so you're going to need the 365 subscription here and that's going to give you the six terabytes so basically the family plan so you're gonna have to buy the family plan which is a hundred dollars for a year okay i didn't say this was free but this is probably the cheapest solution out of all storages which really works with everything like let me let me give you a, a, a rundown i guess onedrive onedrive links from windows to windows to android to android to your tablet to your tablet to your phone to your phone to your oculus whatever onedrive can run you can utilize this in the cloud six terabytes of storage from all of these drives across all drives here you can download it you can delete it you can continuously cycle it uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it here i can even show you a way to uh to temporarily have the file then delete the file after you're done but that's a whole nother video all right so once you have 365 don't even continue this video <laughs> get 365 right get the whole grand chalada for a hundred dollars a year or you can do i think it's twenty dollars a month i don't know uh aliens i'm bad at math so you see you get six terabyte of cloud storage here one terabyte per person okay one terabyte per person so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another person <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna create another person here. Hold on one second. All right, alien. So now we're back. So what we're gonna do is uh, we just gotta create an email. Um, we can create another email. Basically, a Microsoft family here. So I should have a drive three by the end of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the top right here, and we are going to uh, sign out. <laughs> We're gonna sign out of the main account here, sign out of your account, whatever account. Uh, in theory, you're just gonna make a new account, okay? And that's what we're gonna do. Um, so back here, no thanks, none of that. Um, all right, so we're gonna create a new account, create new, create a new account at someone. Let's see, uh, it wasn't really creative, but it is what it is um yeah 
all right so the account is created Woo! yeah all right so we created the account so now aliens y'all know what we're gonna do now right oh Raz, i don't know i don't know what you're gonna do all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sign out okay and we're gonna sign back into our main account okay we have we have an account here you know what i'm saying now we're gonna sign out we're going to invite that account to our drive here oh aliens i'm stupid all right actually we're gonna go to OneDrive here we're gonna go to OneDrive here and we're gonna sign in with the bogey account the other account your other babies all right you okay all right so we switched accounts here so x out of this x out of this um less than a minute ago sharing private all right so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go to new we're gonna go to folder i think it's gonna work like this i haven't done this in so long all right drive three and we're going to um share access um to anyone so what we're gonna do is right we're going to share this to your main account so know your main account's email so mine's is what is mine's um g so we got to type and i guess the whole john all right so i did that so once you type in your whole email address there uh you're gonna send the link anyone can edit this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do anyone can edit does not require a sign in uh and it's always gonna be with us though you know so make sure you can edit so you can actually post in there and then you're going to send all right link to drive three sent to me awesome um and just to make sure all right so we're not missing anything so yeah so sign out of this account now and then let's sign in to your main account all right so once we're on our main account here let's go to the top right let's go to account manager let's let me make sure that's it uh yeah account manager go to my account my microsoft account dang dog if i get this on the first try uh i, I need you aliens to like and subscribe and follow and do the, the whole nine for me dog all right so once you do that uh scroll all the way to the bottom here and go to your family and once you scroll to the bottom and go to your family click on view your family and then it's going to show all the family members remember i have drive one and two so now we're about to add drive three we're gonna add drive three here and i need to add their email so you're gonna add someone you're gonna add their email right here you're gonna hit next okay once you add them, um, they could be a member or they could be an organizer. You can edit family and safety settings. They're gonna be an organizer, okay? They're gonna be an organizer. So now I'm gonna invite the bogey account. All right, we just did that. Accept invite for them. So accept invite for them. Accept the invitation now will sign you out so it can sign in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do that. So we're gonna sign out of my account and then sign in with the new one. I ain't gonna lie, this is a little bit of a process, but this uh, this sounds about right, doesn't it? Uh, you're now signed in with, yes, yeah, see, I'm telling you, dog. Make sure, yes, say hello. Yes, there, here we go. Here's the actual email. So join now. I'm telling you, yo, be, be careful. It gets weird, okay? It gets real weird. All right, welcome to the family group as an organizer. You can do that, blah, 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 blah. None of your devices are secure, blah, add later. All right, so now we have uh, everyone in your family here, okay? So now once you do that, um, now let's go add it to our, our actual 365 account here. So now you're gonna sign out again and we're going to sign into our actual um, main account here. There we go. So now, once you are signed in, it may take you 365, Lord knows why, but ultimately we need to go back to our my account settings again on the top right. And where it showed you your family at the bottom, we're basically now just going to invite the other member as a 365 
a family member so we have all of them here as you can see we have three now so now uh let's go to my subscriptions um hopefully this is right my subscriptions your 365 family let's go to manage all right and at the top here it should say manage sharon three to five people all right so you can share up to five people of course of course so now you're going to email invites okay yeah i have two shares left so let's do this uh i just copied and pasted the email that we just created here we're going to share that uh is already sharing microsoft 365 <gasps> am i wait is it already in there oh yo aliens i'm such an idiot bro it's already it's already sharing now bro dang okay there you go so it's uh, wait that's it wow that's wow i did it so now um let's go to our onedrive let's go to our main onedrive here and here's drive one and two so now we just got to get drive three. Um, let's go to shared. Let's go to drive three. Add shortcuts to my files. There you go. So, sorry. So once you go to your file here that you shared from your other account and you go to shared on the left side, um, and then drive three, and then we're going to add shortcut to my files. There we go. Now drive three is added to my files. And now we have drive one, we have drive two, and we have drive three. So now we have all three files. And now when I click in drive three, I have another terabyte here loaded along with the 362, 78. Um, and then you can go here uh, and you can go to details. And yet again, as you can see, the path is going through your main profile well your other account here so i have two more accounts to make a drive four and drive five and i'll have six terabytes and so will you so let's get it let's go i can't believe i did it on the first try without rehearsing or anything else i know that's kind of a journey and if someone can make it shorter go ham do what you need to do but let's get it let's go and i'll see you in the next episode peace oh if you have any questions let me know peace